What's up guys and gals, welcome back to the Nerd Castle. Today we are checking out First Feudal, which is kind of a little low budget game that captured my attention because it's very unique. It's a game where you are tasked with building a castle that you've got to defend as long as possible. So in a lot of ways it's like they are billions, but with like a little bit of Factorio in there. The only difference is instead of conveyor belts and stuff like that, you have peasants. And so you've got to set up supply chains where like a peasant goes to the mine, brings back the ore, puts it in a chest. Another peasant goes to that chest and builds stuff. Kind of a unique little game where the AI does a lot of the heavy lifting, but you also get to play a character in that world. You are the king. And so I wanted to invite you on in. Let's check out First Feudal. Let's play. Everything looks cool here. We're going to call this the Butlark Colony. The Butlark Dynasty. We are the Lords of Butlark. Let no, no one speak against Butlark the Senior or Butlark the Junior, lest they taste Butlark Blade. Let's go to the new game. Good lord. Uh, so here's our new game. First thing we gotta do is this game has kind of a intimidating interface when you first start playing. But we're gonna be oh that wasn't what I wanted to do. I wanted to continue my game. I need to go to the journal and we need to place our settlement square. I think our settlement square would be best served. Let's go down to the build menu. I think it would look pretty good, like right. That looks good. I can live with that. And so what you'll see is that our first little peasant comes along and does his dealio. Uh, if you wanted to get somebody to do something, you just press E while you're on top of them, and you can assign them to a job. You, sir, are going to be a woodcutter. You, sir, are going to be a warrior slash hunter. I don't know. He's probably going to kill a lot of cows. Like, that's the truth. He's going to run over here. He's going to start bludgeoning cows. And he's going to chase them all over the map. Uh, some of the things that you need to do first off in the game, we don't really need bulls, but we do need sheep. Me thinkies. I also think that it wanted me to open the controls tip for the tutorial, yeah. The only reason I'm doing the tutorial is because you get good stuff when you go along with it. And so it just gave us a whole bunch of stuff. Then we can assign professions to the peasants. We already did that, so we get ten hide and five wool. Bam! And next we're going to need to do a joiner's workbench, but not right now. I am going to hunt sheepses. And so there it is. You can see me chasing the sheep around and beating it to death. It's now dead. We've got some meat, and we've got some hides, and we've got, more importantly, some wool. Because what I need is for this builder over here. Let's speed up the game slightly. Ever so slightly while I travel back. What I need is actually, I'm going to assign him to build. Here. You build. I can do the building myself, but it's just, it's easier if I have them do it. Let's put in beds right over here on this side. So there's one bed. And I'd like to do another one right there. And after I get done with that bed, I'd like to do another one right there. I'm going to go get the stuff for it. What I need to do for right now is he's actually going to get that stuff all nailed in. I need to drop off all the things I have from my stockpile. And so there we go. We got lots of meat. We got lots of tools. We got all kinds of good stuff going on. He should be able to finish off all those beds so that all of our villagers have places to sleep. Periodically, more villagers will pop in. What weapons did we start with? We started with an axe and a club. Okay, I'm going to use the club, and hopefully it's good enough to get through these rocks over here. At the bottom of the screen, little explanation of the UI. The green bar is our health. The blue bar is our stamina. The pink bar, I think, is our hunger. No, the pink bar is our tiredness. And then I think maybe the yellow is our... Yeah, fullness yellow is our hunger. The other one is vigor, which is a very... That's a medieval-sounding word. My vigors and my humors are strong today. You wake up and you tell the neighborhood about your vigors and stuff. Our builder does not have enough resources. What is he lacking? What does he not have? Probably wool would be my guess. Did he not finish the last one? Yeah, he needs five more wool. I thought I gave him enough for that. We'll go kill off another one of these little dudes over here, and that'll make things a little bit easier. We're going to have our first invasion pretty soon, too. So we'll want to stay... Ah, he's juking me. This dude over here is trying to break my ankles. All right, so there's a little bit more of the good stuff. I will drop these off inside the supply crate so that he can finish that job right there. I think that our wood chopper... Oh, they're all taking a nap right now. That's okay. Get some sleep, everybody. I don't blame you. Sometimes you got to take a little nappy poo. It is what it is. I would say to take the poo before the nap, but some people like to do it simultaneously, so... Whatever. I don't have any say about that. A new peasant has arrived. Fantastic. That's a good thing to know. I want you to be a hunter. You will be a hunter. And then I think we press tab to swap over to... How do I swap to my axe? I don't remember. There's a way to do this Q. So there's my woods chopping axe right there. So what I can do is we can start chopping on this thing right here. 
I don't know if that actually gives wood, though. Oh, it did. It gave us a little bit of wood. I must not be very good at chopping, is what I'm thinking right now. Yeah, we ran out of stamina, but we did get one wood log, so it's not as bad as it could have been. We're going to have to take a sleep pretty soon. Our builder isn't really doing a whole lot, but we're going to give him some stuff to do in just a minute. It's just that now is not the time. I'm going to speed the game up slightly. I feel like we're going kind of slow right now. There we go. Chop that tree. Make that thing happen, man. All right, well, we got one log out of it, which isn't really enough for me to feel confident about what just happened. How many logs do we have right now? Peasant without work. He's a builder. We have 15 logs. Okay, so let's go to the build menu. We need to go to production, and we need a joiner's workbench, because this turns logs into all kinds of other useful stuff. So there's that right there. I'm going to keep working on this tree now that my energy's back. We can build that stuff right there. If we have the stuff inside of our inventory, we can hammer on it just like he's hammering on it, and it just adds the parts bit by pit, piece by piece. A little bit more of that right there. Okay, got some more wood. And that should give us access to artisans. What other things can I make, though, for right now? Slow the game back down. We can make a light armor workbench. We can make a tools workbench. We can make a kitchen, or we can make a workbench for weapons. We made the joiners thing, so that gives us a quest. we got to produce planks. Okay. Let me go here, and what I want to do is I want to produce planks until we have, let's say, 20 of them. And we're just going to leave that there. That's going to be a permanent order that just sits there. Then we need to take this guy. We're going to turn him into an artisan so that he goes out, he takes the wood, and he'll start putting it on the workbench. This gets easier a little bit later in the game when you have a lot more workers to do all the random little jobs you got going on. Oh, yeah. We're going to need storage chests, too. That's what the enemy's going to try and come in and steal from. Apparently, there's no space in our chests. I've got a little bit more wood right there. Let me open this on up. I will drop off my wood supply. And what I need to do for right now is we will go to basic. We need wooden chests. These give a bonus to morale if they're in, like, intelligent spots where people are doing stuff. So I'm going to put that right there. I would like to do another one, please. It takes 12 planks for each one of those. Well, howdy doody do. I'm going to give him something to do then. Uh, he's going to be working on these for a little while. And we'll designate each one. One's going to be for wood, one's going to be for stone, one's going to be for armor. That kind of stuff. Keep it nice and organized so the guys that are running around trying to get the supplies for the stuff that they need will just do it. If you're wood shopping right now, you be a woodcutter. There's nowhere to put anything, huh? You guys just being salty right now. Just being super, super salty. Put somebody on building so that at least something happens here. And then I will take a lot of the ancillary stuff out. Because if they don't have room to, like, do the stuff they want to do, things can get a little bit wonky. What is he, a woodcutter? Make him an artisan, please. We're a little sleepy, so I'm going to sleep it off for right now. Time for us to go to bed, and so we're just going to hang out for right now. Uh, you can pan and scan around the map while you're sleeping. You can speed the game on up so that it goes faster, so that you don't have to spend, like, a ridiculous amount of time sleeping. It's up to you what you want to do. As you can see, our meter goes up quite slowly but i think as you level up and you do other stuff you should be able to get better at things our artisan finished the first chest so that's great that gave them some extra places to store things up our artisan is sleeping i think so as soon as he wakes up he's going to go back he's going to start producing planks again our storage could be better could be better this one right here, we're going to go to filters, and we're going to make this all wood-related products, and we're going to save. So they'll put planks in there, they'll put sticks in there, basically anything that's related to wood will go inside of there. This one right here, we will go with template 7, I guess? I don't know. Let's make it go with, are these tools? Is that what those are? I think so. Pretty sure that's just for tools or whatever. And then this one right here, we'll filter that on out. We'll make that one for stone. Actually, no, let's make that one for hides. So hides can go inside of here. And then, oh, my health is back. There we go. Got to get back on the horse and accomplish something. Hopefully he and I can bust up this tree before too long. Come on, get it done. Chop that tree down. Everybody's chopping the wood. Doop, doo 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 doop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Boop, ba doo doo doop. Everybody's chopping some wood. Boop, ba doo doo doop. Yeah, yeah. Ba doo doop doop doo doop. Everybody does it. Yeah. And I wonder why don't you, what else are you going to do, because you don't want to be left out. You want to build chests. There you go. Nice job. What are you? You're an artisan. Go be a woodcutter for right now. Just go apply yourself. Go make your hands rough with work. That's a tool chest, so I don't need that right now. 
That is our hides' chest, so I will hide some hides up inside of there. We got plenty of those. Next thing we're going to need is a kitchen. Let's go for a kitchen right there. And so we'll drop that off on that side. Do I have enough stones to make that happen? We do. I'm going to go find the tool chest real fast. And inside the tool chest, I'm going to need the pickaxe. So let me have that. And then I am going to drop off my axe. We're going to put in the pickaxe. I will take you and put you right there so that we had an ever we got an extra wood chopsman axe because that's the technical term, right? I am the wood chopsman. I come to chop us the woodists. We need to go down by the lake and get some more stone. I can see this becoming an issue before too long. Let's speed it on up and walk on over here. Our builder ain't got a whole lot going on. We are going to have to build some dinners pretty soon, too. The pickaxe should make it a lot easier for us to bust up these stones down here, though. There it is. A little bit more stone. I will carry him on down to here. It's auto-saving. Saving like auto. I've never met auto, but I've heard he's pretty good at saving games. Keep that going up. There we go. That's the kind of stone that I'm looking for. I would like it if the resources sucked into your character, maybe, and made kind of like a one of the things that I would change about this. This is a very simple game, and you can tell it was made on like a limited budget. But what I would like to see from it is a little bit of improvement with regards to the way the game feels. Uh, craft those until you have like 35 of them. We got plenty of food around, so the artisan should take care of that. We got meat sitting around everywhere, and I'm kind of hungry right now, so... Let's, I'll show you how this works if I cook it real fast. So if I go into here and I say just like craft, like bow, my character will make it so that you don't have to worry about other people coming along and making it happen. He'll just use up everything he has in his inventory for right now to get that going. I think we get a new job with this too. We've got a farmer. Yeah, we got a farmer. I think farmers will run around and they'll pick up stuff off the ground like pumpkins and berries and things of that nature so that you can make some of these combined meals over here which work a little bit better than what we've got going on at the moment. Inside my inventory with the five cooked meat, we're going to eat all five of those to get our meter refilled. On this side, I want you to take all these stones. Perfect. And we are going to keep building more benches. Let's go with A. We've got a workbench for weapons. I think a workbench for tools is our best idea for right now because we have some pretty big tools in this colony. I'll be honest with you. There are some people that really take tomfoolery and toolery up to the next level. We'll make 31 sticks at any given time. That should keep us nice and solid on that front. I would like to swap back into my... Oh, somebody took my axe. I can't swap back into my axe. He must have broke his. They break their tools every now and again, which is why you got to supply them with extra tools to make life easier. While they're playing catch up over here, we haven't gotten our fourth peasant yet. I was hoping we would. You go be a farmer for a minute. Let's go out and grab pumpkins and stuff. Like, he'll go out to these little bushes and things around, like that pumpkin right there, and he'll just come back with, like, a shit ton of pumpkin. I don't know what he just picked up on that side, but he picked up something. Eh. I try not to question it too much. I don't know if I can actually harvest that with a club. Hunting pumpkins with a club? Your fellow cavemen might look at you like you're an idiot if you try to do that. Fair warning. You know, like, you go out hunting a pumpkin with a club like, Shh, it's hunting us. And they might give you some sideways long looks. Ah, I'm going to chase this sheep down. Get him all marked up. There it is. One less sheep. I'm going to pick up all his sheepy goodies. And then once my energy comes back, we will beat down another one of these sheep and make it happen. This game kind of reminds me of those old MMOs you used to play, like, way back in the internet day. There we go. Where, like, everybody was on a map and you could just, like, do whatever while you were out there. It kind of reminds me of that situation a little bit. I think that's going to despawn before I can get this dropped off and come back, but doesn't mean I'm not going to try. you got to give it a go. A new peasant has arrived. Oh, goody. Let me slow the game down for just a minute. New peasant, what's your job right now? New peasant, I want you to be a beetledar. If there's anything to build, I need you on it, amigo. Just do its thing, man. So is there a reason ain't nobody doing sticks or nothing around here? We have a builder. One of these guys needs to be an artisan. I bet that's the issue. I've noticed we have a lot of wooden things sticking around. And so, my guess is that we don't have an artisan, and we got to make this happen. So, yep, there it is. He's over here producing planks. Nice job, buddy. Keep mashing out planks. I believe in you. I'm going to go take a nap because it's good to be king. 
It's so good to be king when you're out taking naps. Is that bag still over there because I didn't loot it? It is. Let's go pick it up real fast. This game's got a pretty rocking soundtrack, too. You can tell somebody's band ended up being, like, the one that got to make the music for this game. But, hey, you use the utilities you have available when it comes to game development. So, on this side, we've got 100 points of woodworking science. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. Over here, we'll throw a little bit more food. A little bit more wood in there. That supplies these guys with food should they need it. It's actually kind of a big deal. Why am I hearing the sound of discord and anger? I think we might be under attack. Are we under attack? I don't see anything. Now we got the kitchen done though, so there it is. They gave us a bunch of seeds for that. I don't know what to do with seeds just yet. I've never used them, but I assume you plant them. Tools workbench. Getting there. Gonna take time. Research any science, kill a cow or a sheep, and then make some porridge. I think that's doable. How hard is it to make porridge? We got boulon, we've got wheat right there. Don't I have some wheat in my inventory? I don't. I guess I don't have wheat in my inventory. We'll have to figure that out as time goes along. Hopefully the builder will jump on this and make it happen. I'm going to take a nap before combat starts because if we're about to get attacked by somebody and bad things are about to happen, I'd rather be relaxed on up. Make sure that I have lots of strength here. Speed the game up for just a minute while we wait for that to regenerate. And I think the first raid is probably going to be coming in just a minute. And so i got to rest my stinky head. Can you imagine in a time period where nobody bathes how smelly a sleeping bag made out of sheep must be? It must smell terrible. That's the kind of stuff that will knock your eyebrows off your forehead. That's like knock a dung beetle off a load, dude. That's brutal. And we have a peasant without work. Our builder's not doing anything. Well, that's okay. I'm not really concerned about him not doing anything right now. Instead... Let's let's put the tools workbench. I want to make sure. So craft until we have three of those at all given times. Craft until we have three hammers at all given times. Basically three of every tool is what I'm looking at. I don't think we're using most of the tools, but we are using some of them. And so get those all situated. We don't have anybody that's going to be doing... Uh, no suitable tool for our woodcutter. Yeah, I was a little concerned about that. So, for the woodcutter, what's he doing right now? He's a builder. You go be an armorer. It's a little bit of a misnomer in this game. Your armor is the guy that makes tools. Uh, he, does, he makes weapons and armor too, but I thought it was going to be artisans that make tools. Nay, sir. Nay. Twas not. I learned that the hard way. Let's go get some more stones. So they stay hard at work up here and they make sure everybody's got the tools they need in order to do their jobs. It's a good idea. Sometimes things get a little out of control if you don't have enough tools and it can spiral and then you ain't got nothing going on. Nobody's being productive. It's just all around a mess for everybody. So just stay away from it for right now. Make sure production stays solid. Got a little bit of energy right there. Keep mining that. Get a few more rocks. Perfect. How many rocks do I have right now? Do I have like a lot? No, I got like 12. I'll definitely use a few more. I think I'm about to go all the way around the horn though to make it happen. Let's sprint around to this side and we'll get some more rocks. That's okay. If the artisan isn't doing anything right now, I'm alright with that. That's not something that I'm super worried about. We've also got no room for more stuff. So I'm going to build a few more chests. Just the way life goes in this game. You're always going to be low on storage space. We're kind of overstocked on stuff right now, too, so it's going to take a bit of time. I will tell you guys, then, to build a few more chests back here. There you go. A few more chests. Is anybody a builder? We have a woodcutter. Go be a builder for a little bit. Uh, we have a village under attack, and it's coming from that direction right there. Let's go find this dude. Who wants to ride out on the Nerd Castle Imperium? Oh, we got battle music right now, like a JRPG. Dan da 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 Oh, this dude thinks I won't put the baps on him. Please believe. Please believe. Look how dead you are right now. The first raid was defeated. We've got a quilted helmet. Can I put that on me? Yeah, put that quilted helmet on me. There we go. And look, the quilted helmet goes on the player. They checked that box for things Splattercat likes to see. 
now that we got done with our first raid, we got to kind of think about what we want to do next. Why is no one building the thing you're supposed to be building right now? Why is that not happening? Nowhere to put. I'm pretty sure my inventory is full too. So... I... Ugh. Well, apparently that was the stopgap that was getting in the way. There we go. So I got that taken care of. Now what I can do is I can go over to this side and I can grab like a stack of boards. And now that I have the stack of boards, that should clear out a little bit of space for these idiots. And I think if I just go like that right there, give me give me something else. I can't build with a sword. I think I can build with a club though. There you go. Build that chest, son. Get it done. You're saving the entire people. So storage issues. Watch out for them because they won't just drop shit on the ground. I actually think this game would be more effective if they allowed you to make stockpile zones. Just draw them out real fast where people can draw stuff. Uh, the usage of chests and things like that while cool on paper. Not enough resources. Oh, I ran out. There we go. While cool on paper is not exactly the most effective way to get stuff done. I would like to have more of these. And then I personally, I gotta wait for my energy to come back. Damn, I gotta be sitting here all day long accomplishing nothing. That's what I'm talking about. Go get him, Chief. Go get him. That's exactly what we are. We are the Chief Tain. In our society, we're that guy right now. I broke my stick. No, my building stick. Tis broken. There we go. My building stick is back up and functional. I'm glad I got a free club from that other dude. How many do I need? Four? All right, make that happen. I'm not even going to assign any of these anymore. They can just store shit where they're going to store shit. And then where's the farmer at? He needs to stop. He's brought in way too much stuff. Like, the farmer has brought in a lot of things. He's over there. Tell him to stop. Come be an armorer for a little bit. You've got way too many things over here. I need to... If we've got room, he already... He dibsed it, unfortunately. He dibsed it. Let's throw some of that together right there. We got grapes and some other little goodies around. Yep, throw that in there. It's too far. Well, get on it, man. I believe in you. You can make this happen. I've also got three logs that are just sort of chilling right now. There. Our inventory is all nice and empty. Did we complete? What is this right here? Oh, yeah. We've got the research tree. So what you can do is when you have research, you can jump onto the next thing. So, let's go to the stone block next, because we had enough points for that. I actually might have been able to do that a little bit better, but... I don't know. Stone tools. So, unlocks craft, unlocks building workbench for tools, yeah, and armor and all that stuff. Okay, let's make a light armor bench over here. I think that sounds like a pretty good idea. So the light armor bench is in. That's going to take rocks and a whole bunch of other stuff. Hopefully I have people who are builders. Otherwise, this is going to take considerably longer than we wanted it to. Looks like he's going to take care of it, though. My artisan isn't really doing much. Good. That means that the jobs have gotten done around here. You guys can have leisure when you're done doing the stuff you need to do. Oh, yeah, I'm hungry. Maybe I'll grab some dinner then. There you go. Apparently the amount of food it takes you to feel better is seven steaks. You gotta eat seven whole one pound steaks in the medieval world before you feel healthy again. It's the only way that it all works. Otherwise, it's just it's just a mess. Let me get some of that wheat right there. I'm gonna craft up some porridge because I know it wants me to. So uh, I'm gonna craft that, get it going. He's gonna keep steaks on the table, I think. We've made the thing we needed to do for our quest right here. 150 points of science. Oh, that's good. I like science. We've built five tools, so that's done. 
We've researched a science, so that's done. We have to increase the settlement size to 10 people. We also need to do stone processing. That's good because we need a quarry so that we can get stones. I think that's a really good plan. We can also plant a farm. Tame two animals of the same species. So I can farm down here. Currently there are no available farms. You can hide or... I don't actually know... I don't know what I just told them to do, but I told them to do something. Oh, yeah, we've got upgrades over here. Give me armor. Armor sounds good. I like armor. Armor will be sexy. I need to sleep, though. Damn it, now they're just going to be sitting around being lazy all day. What kind of armor crafts do we have? And what does that take? Woolen thread. Probably make woolen thread. Guess I can make some shields. Yeah, make like four shields. Eh, seems alright to me. Use up some resources while I take a nap. Nighty nighty! Please don't bitey! Somebody walked up and bit me while I was sleeping, I'd be so angry. I'd be like, shenanigans! We're about to fight, please believe me right now. We are about to have a very real, very major issue. Yep, you guys run around and do your thing. Use up as many products as you possibly can. For right now, they're a little bit idle, but that's okay. That's because they've got, you know, job assignments that have them doing their thing. This game is called First Feudal. If you like what you saw so far, kind of an interesting little title. Like, it, it's not much of a looker. It really sincerely isn't. But, like, I sat down and I started playing it the other night, and I ended up burning, like, two and a half hours getting, like, far into the game and finding ore and making armor and all kinds of stuff, and I had a really good time with it. And so I figured I'd show it off for at least one episode here on the channel so you could be aware of it. I do pride myself on covering smaller titles on the channel, so... My name is Splattercat. This is First Feudal. I hope you guys liked it. I will see you all next time. Thank you for joining up. It was a lot of fun. And I look forward to seeing you all when we meet again. All right. I do, everybody. Bye-bye.